Hello, I'm Forrest Day, and I wanted to create a video about my grandfather and hero, Colonel George Bud Day. He was a pilot in Vietnam during 1967 and was heavily involved in one of the most unique campaigns in American history that ultimately resulted in failure for the United States. This was Operation Rolling Thunder. From February 1965 until November 1968. This war was pushed by President Johnson and had four key objectives to define the bombing campaign. One was to bolster the sagging morale of the pro-American Saigon regime. Two was to persuade North Vietnam to seize its support for the communist insurgency in South Vietnam without having to spend U.S. ground forces. Third was to destroy North Vietnam's transport system, industrial base, and air defenses. And fourth was to halt the flow of enemy men and material into South Vietnam. The reality of the situation was much different. By campaign's end, the United States had lost nearly 3,300 aircraft and over 1,000 pilots were either killed or missing in action. While inflicting nearly $300 million in damage to northern Vietnam, our nation sustained $900 million in losses. Now we turn here to my grandfather himself, Colonel Bud Day. Hello, Sonny. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself uh, and your life before the Vietnam War? I was born in Sioux City, Iowa in 1925 and then joined the USMC in 1942 at the age of 18. I then went to the Northern Pacific for all of the Second World War. Uh, after the war, I went to the Iowa National Guard and became a lieutenant to learn to fly. Upon earning my wings, I flew the F-84 in the Korean War for two tours. After this ended, I stayed in the service until the Vietnam War. Uh, it was the worst of them all. Uh, what about the mission you had in late August of 1967? Oh, yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, we left the base in Thailand. Uh, good old Misty One, my favorite bird. Well, Lieutenant Kip, what do you think? Well, our departure was good, and we're on track maybe north of uh, Thong Camp Sung at uh, 2000, and nothing is on the radar. Not that, Kip. What's going on back home in all these bombing missions? <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I can't help but hear some of the rumors about about what's going on going on back home. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to be received. I know there's already sentiment building up. I don't think the public wants us over here in Vietnam, but you know we're just two guys that are here to do our job. That's all we. That's all we're here for. I'm just trying to get home. I know. I just want to make it home to my family. Yeah, that's all that we've dropped. We've dropped more bombs up on this this country than uh, than all of the Pacific leader of World War II combined. Ain't that crazy? No Lieutenant shit. Kim. It's starting our descent down. We're coming in. Oh, this flag's coming in. They're coming in after us. Good here, Lieutenant Kip. We got this. We yeah. got this. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Kip. Colonel Bud, I don't know what to say, but... What's that? What's that on the radar? What's that on the radar? Things aren't looking good. Uh, nope. Oh, God. Jesus oh, Christ. Is I think... A, that's a bogey coming in. We, okay. we gotta eject. We, we gotta got eject. It. I will never forget the fear of ejecting over the unknown of Vietnam. Uh, the sheer uncertainty of the unknown as we parachuted down into the jungle. And then the trials that followed. We were forced to try and find our way through unfamiliar terrain, fight for our lives, uh, but eventually we ran into the one, and it was over. We were taken as prisoners of war, uh, kept captive, uh, and we survived for seven years. Uh, but luckily, we eventually made it home.